Hello and welcome back to another Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're gonna set up a local settings.py file. Um, <laughs> the idea behind this <clears throat> is when we upload our website or our Django project to the server, um, that our project's gonna need specific settings to work on the server. Now, when it's on our development um, system, like on our computer here, uh, it needs a different type of format or configuration using the settings file so what we're gonna do is gonna create a local underscore settings dot py file and that file is only gonna work on our local develop our local machine alright now <clears throat> there's millions of methods to doing this um, to setting up uh, different settings for each environment um, there's really advanced ways of doing it and then there's a straightforward way of doing it now this will work if you have a single developer um, but if you're working with a team then this method will not work um, since you guys are starting out and just learning how to uh, you know uh, write code and build Django sites I think you'll be alright with the local settings.py file uh, down the road I'll show you guys how um, we do it with uh, multiple multiple environments but that's something we really don't need to cover right now alright so anyway let's uh, first off just make sure we got everything up here in the proper order I'm gonna CD into our um, project I forget what we call it template there we go and then we're gonna have to source bin activate our virtual environment and cd into root and then that should be good all right anyhow i just wanted to make sure we're all on the same page so i got my virtual environment set up and i am over there now open up your text editor all right <clears throat> and go ahead and create a new page so file down to new file and we're going to save that and we're going to save it um, we're going to save that into our MCO template same level as our, our settings.py file so we're going to go into root MCO template and we're going to save it in here as local underscore settings.py so local underscore settings dot py all right we'll save it in there and notice we got a local underscore settings dot py file now all right um just trying to slide this over there we go uh all right so now we need to create one more file so we're going to create a new file and we're going to save this one as um we're going to save this one in root right in here and it's uh, going to be saved in here. It's going to be on the same level as manage.py. And this one is our, it's going to be called dot git ignore. Did I spell that right? Yeah. Git ignore. Um, and this is, this is going to um, ignore any files when we get to upload it if the file's in here. So let's go ahead and just put local underscore settings dot py. And the reason we're doing this is because when we go to upload our project to our production server, we um, we want to be, what was I getting at? Uh, sorry about that. I was reading the text. All right. So local settings .py. when we put it in the git ignore file and we go to commit our um, changes using git it's going to ignore this file it's not going to commit this change and when we upload our site to Heroku we use git and that's how we upload our site so if it ignores this it's not going to upload the local settings .py. so now we got the local settings .py file which we're not going to add anything into it today or in this tutorial, the next tutorial we're going to set up our settings. One last thing we need to do in this tutorial though is set up um, how we're going to interact 
with our local settings.py file. So what we do is we go to the bottom of the page and we're going to use a try and accept. So try. So we're going to try to do something. We're going to say from local underscore settings import everything. All right. So from local underscore settings import everything that's in this file, which is nothing right now. <clears throat> Then we're going to say accept uh, import capital E R. All right, and then we'll just say pass. And the reason why we're saying pass is because this is not going to be uploaded to the server, like I was saying. All right, so this code will still run this right here, and it's going to go and look for a lo local settings uh, .py file. Well, it's not going to find that file, so it's going to go uh, accept. And it's going to get an importer and it's just going to pass. It's going to say, all right, just pass it. All right. So then the code will continue to run and it will not uh, kill the server or anything like that. All right. So that's what this, this is how we work with two different um, settings files in Django. Uh, the next tutorial will actually write out our settings, our development settings, and then the following tutorial will set up our production settings. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial when we start writing some settings.